Gibby Danger, which is a documentary about uh, the Stooges, Iggy and the Stooges, and their cultural impact. It's interesting, if you look this movie up on IMDb, it tells you that it stars Ewan McGregor, which it doesn't. Ewan McGregor features in a clip from Velvet Goldmine, in which there's a character which he plays who is basically Iggy Pop. But it's not Iggy Pop, but it's basically Iggy Pop. And so it's just a little brief film extract, which says, that's why you, it says starring Ewan McGregor. It doesn't. It obviously stars Iggy Pop, who is a fantastic interview, particularly when uh, in the hands of Jim Jarmusch, who is, uh, you know, the guy directed Strangers in Paradise Down by Law and Only Love is Left Alive. And, of course, the Year of the Horse, the Neil Young documentary. And I know that you're a Neil Young fan, so I imagine that you have probably seen... You're a convert. I am a convert, and it was entirely down to you. So what the film does is it goes back through the history of the Stooges, and, and it suggests very, very uh, convincingly that, like the Ramones who came later and drew from them that there was absolute method in their madness, that it was a sort of scientific way of swimming, but there was also just plain madness. It was important to make contact, I felt, at every show. And we were opening for the Mothers of Invention, and that was the best group, in my estimation, that we'd ever opened for. So near the end of our set, I was so not sure we'd really reached across. And there were a couple of girls, big ones. They moved up right in front of the stage, and they just were laying there on their backs, making themselves very comfortable, relaxing. And I got to the edge of the stage, and I did what I'd seen little kids do sometimes when they want attention from their parents. I thought, I'm just going to fall forward. They'll catch me. and. Uh, they moved. <laughs> I, my, uh, my front teeth, which I've since had repaired, went straight through one of my lips. It's a funny thing because obviously the story of the stu most people of because I'm 54 or something now, you know I sort of came I knew the Stooges stuff when I was uh, I mean people bring in uh, you know raw power and that sort of things around the time of punk because everyone because the Sex Pistols were covering um, you know uh, I want to be a dog and no fun and so that and it was a, that was how you kind of found. The Stooges, also because around the time that I was first listening to records, the Iggy Pop record, The Idiot, had just come out with David Barry's connection, and that is sort of touched upon here. What's really great about it is Iggy Pop remembering brilliantly and very eloquently and very funnily and very coherently where all this kind of, you know, Stooges energy came from. There's a lovely moment when he's talking about his influences coming from, you know, black musicians and from, you know, from the sort of funk music and dance music and then suddenly realising, he said, I suddenly had this revelation, I realised I wasn't black and I'd have to figure out some other way of getting that energy. And it's great because you see that what he's doing is actually tying back. To, he's very, you know, he knows his music history, but he's trying to do something else with it. I also like the idea, you know, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers always used to have this thing, don't bore us, give us the chorus. And I, I always liked that, you know, the, the, the stripped down thing. And he talks about seeing a kids TV show in which he said, write in 25 words or less. And Iggy Pop got this idea that actually he should write all his lyrics 25 words or less, which incidentally isn't true by the time he gets to, to, to the idiot. The documentary shows how punk came out of what it was that the Stooges were doing. And also is a very good sort of document of how everything was falling apart and how whilst they were doing this stuff, they really weren't getting very much recognition for it. And it's only later on that it became important. So I thought it was, I mean, as somebody who's, you know, has a, a fondness for that stuff anyway, I thought it, was, it reminded me of New York Doll, which I thought was a very sort of, you know, kind and affectionate documentary. And I thought it was a, a really interesting watch, if you're interested in Iggy Pop, not least because hearing Iggy Pop talk, he does, you know, if you listen to his show on Six Music, for example, you could listen to him do anything at all. He has the most extraordinary voice and he really does know how to tell a story.